Well, welcome to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to just jump right in and we're going to do some 70s layering. Now, this version of the 70s type of layering is going to be very short and airy around the front, but I want to keep the back very full and, and massive and really show off how much hair she's got, but I don't want it overpowering the face. And that was really prevalent in the 70s. So we're going to start here with a natural or center part section off the nape which is the occipital to the mastoid we're going to comb that hair straight down and i'm going to use my kill toe scissors which are the sharpest pair that i have so if i have some thick sections i can really point cut that with ease just cut that straight across point cutting it to keep the ends very soft and very separated but i'm holding it straight down to keep it very full and very blunt i'll do the left side i'll do the right side and this is very, very straightforward. Just comb everything down. Try to not flip my fingers. Try to keep that um, you know, parallel to the floor. But I got a little flipping there, but that's okay. Since I'm point cutting it, it's not going to be that big of a deal. The next section I will take from the uh, drop crown to the top of the ear. So that's going to be the next section I'll take straight down through the center, comb that down, and follow the previously cut guide that I had. Point cut that straight across. So by point cutting I get a nice separation on the ends and it forces it to separate into little pieces but I don't get a whole lot of, of airiness that I would get if I was to use a razor. Which I'm going to use a little bit later on but right here I want to keep this very solid. And I'm just going to go through, cut the left side, cut the right side, and I'll keep taking sections until I run out of length and to where everything is almost all one length here across the back and across the sides. Now here we're going to move into our face framing, which is going to be the shortest layers we're going to do. We're going to start right at the top of the ear, which is going to go to the first flat section right off of our center or natural part. I'm going to comb that straight down and forward, pin all this other hair out of the way. I'll start right in the center, and I'm going to use the, the plie, the, the razor without the guard. And I'm going to take a very, very broad stroke. You can see me measuring it. I want it around the tip of her nose at the longest. But I want a very, very broad stroke to keep that real light and airy around the front. After I cut my first section here, I'm going to go move to the left and use that as my guide length. And I'm going to cut this fairly short around the front considering how long her hair is. But I'm still keeping a very broad stroke to keep this very light. And I'm just going to pull everything forward and cut this down. And I'm just creating a new guide. Just whatever this guide is, whatever I feel fits, that's how short I'm going to go. After we get our length there, I feel like that's looking pretty good. I'm going to go through and right at the ear, I'm going to cut that shorter going towards that little point so it forces that hair to separate into a strong little piece. Right there, you can see how that just forced that piece to separate a little bit more as opposed to it becoming feathered and going back. That forces it to pop out going forward pulling everything forward on the right side, just mimicking what I did on the left side as much as you can. So you're just guessing at what the lines are as far as length goes on both sides. So take your time, be diligent with it, and just whittle it in and get it set in like you want. I don't like this little part right here, right there by our cheekbone, so I'm going to take that a little bit shorter right through there, and then I'm going to uh, cut that, etch that out a little bit more right there by the ear to force that piece to pop forward as well. You can see that right there. My next section, I'll take a flat section on top of the head, which is going from the high point of the head to the bone right behind the ear, which is the mastoid. When I pull this forward, I completely ignore the previously cut guy. I'm stepping this about two inches longer than what I had right in the center. And then from there, I'm creating a completely new guide going down to our length. So I'm trying to go from short to really long in a really short amount of distance. So I'm step layering it around the front. So the first section was shorter. This section is going to be a little bit longer. I'll match it on the other side as well. 
cutting from the center of the head right above her nose down to my length on both sides so I can keep the movement the same because the the action of the razor is going to force the hair to move in a certain way so I want to make sure I can mimic my actions on both sides of the head now here this is how I'm going to check my guide to see if my lengths are even on each side the right side was a little shorter so I'm sorry the right side was a little longer so we're going to go through and take that a little bit shorter next section another parallel section straight back a little bit further and then here I'm creating a completely new guide so this is my third new guide for my layering each step that I go I want to kind of step in about the same length so if I'm stepping two inches I'm going to keep that two inch step with every new layer that I create so the only guide that I'm using is the guide that I cut right in the center for the very first part of each subsection that I'm taking. Now this is beginning to reach the, the overall length that she has in the back. It's not quite there yet. The next section should do that. Here we're going to match the same thing on the other side as closely as I can. Now you notice the first section that I took, the, the razor stroke was pretty broad. As I'm moving back, I'm tightening up the razor stroke so it's not getting as broad, so I'm keeping a more solid shape as I go further into the back. Following that through, checking to see if the lengths are the same on both sides. Now this section here, since I'm not increasing the length, I'm going to use the same guide from the previously cut section that I had. If it was that much longer, then I would step layer this part, but it's not. So I'm going to follow the guide that I had before, going down to my length that's in the back. So whatever that length is in the back, that's what I'm working towards. So this last section will probably not have any hair that even reaches. So we'll just check it and make sure. And we don't have anything to cut. So we're done with the layering. So now let's go on to the blow dry. And we'll start blowing dry just to get everything dry. I'm going to do a round brush set on her just to give it some wave and some movement. But everything around the front I'm blowing forward and down and then letting her natural growth patterns take over. Right here in the bangs, I felt like it needed a little bit more push out of the way. So I'm going to section and pull at an angle. So wherever I'm pulling to, that's going to be the shortest piece. And then where I'm pulling from is where it's going to be longer. I felt like this first step layer that I had here in the front was a little bit too much, a little bit too solid. So I'm going to take some of that shorter and take some of the weight out of that with my Tokyo thinning scissors. Double checking everything. It looks pretty good. Thank you for checking this out. Please check out the Jatai Academy. We got all kinds of great stuff on there. Leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.